You can see my data here for the potatoes and my data for the mealworms. I have the initial mass, final mass, and then to get the change in mass, final mass minus initial. So for my potatoes, negative 0 0.260 grams change in mass, negative. So they lost mass. For my mealworms, 0 0.91 for my initial, 1.98 for my final. Again, you take final mass minus initial for a change in mass of 1.07 grams. This is what I want to compare. This negative 2.60 for the potatoes and my change in mass of 1.07 grams for my mealworms. I want these two on a graph and a very simple, what you're familiar with being called a bar graph. So we're going to go to Google Drive and we're going to click on new, Google Sheets, blank, let's just start a new one. So I'm going to call this change in mass. So I can find this change in mass. If you want to say mealworms and potatoes, please do. There's only two things. There are potatoes that changed in mass, and there are mealworms that changed in mass. Again, let's look at our, our data. Negative 2.60 is the change in mass for potatoes. Negative, that's important, 2.60. And it would be grams. We'll add that to our uh, graph. And for the mealworms, 1.07 grams. So 1.07 grams. I'm just going to line things up because I like it when everything's centered. That's an optional step. Okay, you're going to highlight just like before and you're going to do insert chart. Um, maybe it'll give you a scatter plot because that's what we've been working on. We need to then go to what's called column, a column chart. So we are, we're in setup, chart type, and we're gonna scroll down to column, not bar, column. When you click on that, it's not what we expect. So the column chart needs a little bit of editing. We're gonna scroll down to where it says, right here, use column A as labels. If that is checked, it will look weird, uncheck it, and now we have something that looks like what we were hoping to get. So we have the change in mass of potatoes. Notice it is a negative number, so below the zero, and a positive um, change in the mealworm mass. Great, some weird stuff that needs fixed up, basically just titles. So let's go to customize, titles. Chart title should say something more clear, like change in mass four potatoes and mealworms. This is nice because it lines up nicely with the bar. So change in mass of potatoes, change in mass of mealworms. Great. Let's change the title for the vertical axis, the Y axis. This is really important. It says mealworms. What this is, is the change in mass. And let's say what it was, it was grams. And then let's change the horizontal axis. Basically, you just need to get rid of that of potatoes. That's weird. Okay, this looks good. This gives us some clear information to look at to be able to compare the change in mass of the potatoes with the change in mass of blue. I'm gonna do more customization, have added, but this is great. Keep in mind, for those of you who really like better grid lines and ticks, you can play with those here. For my particular data, 0 0.2 gives me a really a lot of um, more grid lines so I can see um, some more specifics in the data. Optional. This is a graph then that you need to put into your document.